Hey guys, right, um, we're in the beginning of May and there's already talk now from Met Office and the government that there could be a hosepipe ban this year in the UK. Um, April was very dry, only an average of about 6.4 mil of rain for the whole of the month, which is about 20% of what we normally get. So um, with the bank holiday coming up at the end of May, now's a good time to get yourself a water butt, get that in place. Um, so that you able to keep watering stuff if they do bring the hose pipe ban in. From personal experience, with this kind of dryish early parts of the year, we probably could have one, um, and it will probably come in unless this month gets really wet. Um, I know we've got thunderstorms and hail later today, but um, we need a significant amount of rain. We could probably do with rain pretty much every single day for two, three, four hours for the rest of the month to avoid having a hosepipe ban. Um, so I would probably guess beginning of June, probably, that's when they'll bring it in <clears throat> or they'll announce it for that's when the start will be. Um, any later than that, it'd probably be too late. So get yourself a water bath um, and you'll need to water from a watering can if that's still allowed. Um, I have a dispensation because I'm a gardener so I can actually go around and I can use hoses for um, new lawns, new planting, that kind of thing, so it's a little bit different for me. Um, but this, what I'm going to show you is very, very simple, um, how to water your plants. Um, most people don't use a rose on their watering can, which is supposed to. Um, now this one doesn't have a rose, but I can cheat here because I've got bark chippings on the ground so it doesn't actually affect the soil. Um, when you have a, a watering can without a rose, when you pour the water on, it actually damages the soil at the surface. And what ends up happening is the constituent parts of it, when you're forcing water at it, it damages the spaces that's between the soil for water and for air, so the oxygen can get into the roots. Um, and what happens is, when you force the water down to the ground, it compresses the soil a bit. So you end up without any or reduced oxygen spaces in the ground, so the roots struggle. Um, plus the other side of it is the water can struggle to actually get through, because um, capillary action won't allow, you to, won't allow the soil to actually drag it through. So it actually loses it on having liquid water and having the oxygen in the ground too. Um, so they can suffer through really, really hot weather. Um, this is a Euonymus that I put in last week and it is as simple as you don't pour at the stem. Yeah, what you want to do is pour around it and that encourages the roots to actually grow out. If you pour the water directly at the main stem, it doesn't actually encourage root growth. So this one went in last week, um, because this is an estate, there's no one particular person that actually looks after these plants, apart from me. And I actually have to be here twice a week, so I actually look after them twice a week and give them a good water. Um, so what you want to do, get a water butt in place very soon, because um, I've got a horrible feeling we are going to have a hose pipe band this year. It's been a few years since we've had one. Um, but I would not be surprised. So Maybank holiday is coming up, get one installed. Um, just make sure that when you put it in you actually raise it off the ground so you can actually get a watering can underneath it. A lot of people just stick it on the ground, it's like, oh, no, we can't actually tap the water out. So um, that's it, simple one for today, and I'll see you again soon.